Fluxen, mein Dachsen. Scheiße, mein Fluxen. Don't click under the influence. Cheers, Internet, and welcome back to our whiskey tasting with Flux. Today we're going to be playing Cthulhu Flux. Isn't that right, Stormageddon? Stormageddon's got history. I may leave it to Lenny to introduce our drinks for the day. We are tasting the Dal 2015 on my right in the flowery glasses. Uh, and on my left in the Telemore Dew glasses, we are doing the Glenfiddich 15. The Dal 2015 uh, tasting notes are uh, a sweet, almost honey like flavor, but very gentle on the palate. Whereas the Glenfiddich 15 is the standard Glenfiddich 12, aged the extra three years in the year. Okay, so now on to gameplay. Cthulhu Flux is a lot like Zombie Flux in that it's a very creeper focused game, but you're gonna find there aren't quite as many creepers. It's just the interactions of the ones that are there are very important. So, similar to Zombie Flux, we have goals, ungoals, new rules, action cards, keepers, creepers, and from some of our other versions, we have surprise cards. So, we're just going to jump right into it, grab a drink, and sip along with us. Hopefully you enjoy it. Catch up at the end. We've already done the shuffling and the dealing. Uh, we've got our three cards each, basic rules, draw one, play one. Uh, Derek's going to explain the meta rule for Cthulhu Flux. Alright, in Cthulhu Flux, some cards have a doom counter on them, and others have an anti doom counter. Uh, the meta rule means whenever you win the game or lose the game via an ungoal, whoever has the most doom counters in front of them wins the game. Excellent. So, we start playing with Bill. Okay. And we're going to start off our whiskey tasting with the Dell 2015. Dell 2015. Good. I start with a creeper. I got madness. Oh, come on! Metamorphosis! <laughs> you good, Nick? I'm good. You good? Creepers? You good? You good? Okay. Alright. What do you think of the whiskey? It's got that nice, harsh flavor. It's a little less sweet than I remember. Mm -hmm. I think I oh, got it at the end of the night at the uh, at the end of the night last time. Also, oh, no. okay. I'll get it first. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so to be fair, this is pretty close to Bill's first ever game of Flux, and I need to do that. So they don't have a whole lot of experience back. We need that play counter. No, Set up a timer on that bitch. No, 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 you, you got a timer app on that, okay. don't you? So I'm going to do an action card. Uh, dreams and Omens. Set your hand aside, count the number of players in the game, draw enough cards to give one card to each player, and decide who Gets which. Yeah, after that initial sip, it is starting to smooth out. Mm -hmm. A little more oaky than I remember, but it's. Nope. Alright. So, I assume that it means before the next turn that, that I'm not going to play this till it comes back down to me. Oh, so you can't look at this, or? No, yeah, don't look at it. Just, you, you just flip it over and play it at the beginning. Alright, so. So it. Automatically play this. Yes. Right right draw. Yep. You can draw first, I think, right? It doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. Yeah. Well, yeah, if it's a new it. rule, you, it does matter. So, yeah. all right. So. This is only my second game of Flux ever, and I'm a stickler for rules, which is important for Flux, which is why I want to be clear. It's an ungoal. Oh shit! Sorry, ungoal. If any of the three on the following table that are of ugh. any of the three of the following are on the table, the game ends with no winner. Shugath. Cultist, Fungi, or Necronomicon. Title over here. I'm a cuba. Oh, mm. Go ahead. The Sanitarium. Oh, 
doesn't matter. I was a Metallica fan in my youth, hence the air guitar and sanitarium reference. No one else got it. A creeper! Ooh. Nightmares! Yeah. I figured you already had two points. Wow! I got the body! I think I have every creeper in this deck right now. No, because, uh, the uncle. Creepers All anyway. those creepers. <laughs> Except for the... Necronomicon. Oh, and the cultist. And the shugger. And the buggy. And no, I have none of them! Yeah. Well, that's yeah. good, yeah. <laughs> Alright, uh, I'm just gonna say real quick, uh, we're gonna play the farm. And... Metamorphosis. So that has to be attached. Draw two and use them. Draw any two of the top cards and play them immediately. Draw any two. <laughs> oh, which any two of the top cards will I use? Right. Or any key? What's the any key? Oh, Miss Genetonic University. And the new rule is Fear of the Unknown. If you admit any fear you have, you may take an extra draw and an extra play. So I am afraid of small closed spaces. I will draw the card. One thing special about Cthulhu Flux that hasn't been said here is that if people can name a fear that you have, they can use it against you later. So I just said fuck it, and I made up shit. Unfortunately, my bad jokes were probably more memorable than, more memorable than any fear I had, but whatever. And that looks like he has special powers. What are they? This one would allow. No, the sanitary. Oh, if you have this on the table, you can discard nightmares or madness if they're attached to one of your other guns. I always have to taunt Trent. He's such a special snowflake. You must! Okay. Oh yeah. You gotta play that one in front of you. Yes, you can do that yeah, during your turn. Okay. Um, I'm afraid of heights. Ah, amigo. Okay. The Migo, the Migo. Somebody who plays, uh, or somebody who reads Lovecraft. Comment to tell me how the fuck to say that. I think it's Migo. I play Lovecraft. I know you play Lovecraft. I don't actually know what happened there, but between the voice and the homoerotic glances, I think the whiskey was starting to kick in. Um. New goal, prohibition. The player who has federal agents and the drunk on the table wins. Okay. Okay, so then my second one is um, Crawling Chaos. Gather up all the keepers. Wait, you can't play two. multiple things. You just have to no, discard now. No. He has to play two. Oh, okay. Right, 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 right. So, Crawling Chaos. Gather up all the keepers and creepers on the table. Shuffle them together. Deal them out. Giving first card to yourself. Cards should all be dealt face down, then revealed at once. Attached creepers are split from the keepers for this action. When the creeper is revealed, the new owner must attach it to a new card. I don't think they'll notice how good for me it is that he just did that. Okay. So, uh, thank you for that. <laughs> Mix things up a little. This oh, it's perfect. Uh, Everybody gets two. Okay. Alright, so it's still a uh, draw one, play one, with a hand on the watch. Alright, me. Uh, my only fear is fear itself. 
<laughs> it's also oh, no. a lie. It's such a cop out. <laughs> Alright. Penguins? Alright, so let's just review uh, how the shuffle went for everybody. I ended up with the Migo and Sanitarium. I ended up with the Body and Nightmare Scraper. I got Madness Creeper and Keeper the Professor. So those have to buy. Oh yeah. I got the... Uh, Mad Professor. I got a uh, Farm Keeper, but I also got the Metamorphosis Creeper, which cancels out any special abilities from the Keeper and the Keeper, but the Keeper doesn't. The farm has nothing, so... The Penguins. Well, the, it's Ungull, Call of Good But it doesn't really change it. Which well, is... Oh, uh, so it, Call of Cthulhu is an Ungull. If the total Doom count for this table is six or more, uh, which we'll get to in a sec, and Cthulhu is in play, the game ends with no winner. Well, I have one. Actually, I have zero. Uh, two points. And I've got two. I have two. One, two, one. So, That's we're at five. Okay. Alright. This is really not looking good for us right now. All that needs to happen is Cthulhu has to get pulled from the pile, and we all lose. I'm afraid of Lenny not making friends. Alright, so I'm gonna say, uh, new rule. Play all. Play all your cards? Yep. Wow. Well, it's basically you're playing two cards at the time, but the hand limit is one. So, oh. well, you have a jackpot card. Hand limit's now three. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Draw limit's still one. And I'm gonna do an FBI raid in which I must select a doomed keeper or creeper. Now, something we determined earlier is that because Madness has attached to the good Professor uh, Wilmar, he is now doomed. But I'm not going to get rid of your Madness. And instead, we're going to get rid of Shogoth, which should help everybody. It's going to help everybody with the call of the Ooh. Okay, okay. I have afraid of Sam Wilmar. Yeah, they're in like a little... A little, little terrarium. Terrarium. Terrarium state. Terraria, rara, rara. Cultist. He's not an investigator creeper, so I do not have to attach an anchor. Extremely. Take a card at random from another player's hand and play it. If I can name something to frighten them, I may take and play an additional card. As only one player with one card, I will take that. Change the goal to the Eldritch Secret, which is the Necronomicon and the Elder Sign. Ooh. Elder Sign! And for my final play, I will use Even Death May Die. I search through the discard pile, take any action, or investigator, keeper, and then one of them, and play it immediately. Come on, Bill. <laughs> Actually, that which is dead. That which is dead. Whatever, I was close enough. The Drowned God, come on. The Iron Price. Step the Drowned God will be Bill by the end of this. <laughs> it's my function on this earth to give people shit. Right, so I will take the action, draw two, and use them. So, play that one right now. Draw two cards. Thank you very much. I'm going to make the new goal the seal of the gate, which requires the elder sign and the tomb. Now, real quick to uh, rewind there, what you first did was to set the new goal to order drag. Yeah. But because he had to use both of them, and they were both goals, seal of the gate, seal of the gate, overrode it. It's order of drag. Ready? Ready. One card. Play all. Not gonna play be a challenge. Is somebody already in a uh, win condition? Oh. Uh, interesting. New rule. Uh, cosmic instructions. During your turn, if you have an ungold in your hand, you must immediately play it, then draw another card. So basically, it operates like a creeper. Like a creeper. 
when this rule is first put into play, the person who played it also draws three at home. Are you afraid of anything? <laughs> Not this one. You wouldn't want to have to play all plus one. You gotta play those three. <laughs> yeah, you it's play, play all. <laughs> okay, so I got the two. I got the cat. Well. <laughs> and an action. Trash a new rule. Select one of the new rule cards in play and place it in the discard pile. What are you going to trash? Cosmic Instructions is such a piece of shit. Burn it! I think... What that? I think... Sky's the play. limit. <laughs> Sky's the limit while you play all? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and no one made a black pussy comment? Really, Mr. <laughs> Cat? Really? Really? Okay. Okay. Alright. Unfortunately for everyone, that will not be the last time that joke happens. I... Nursing it. Uh... I'm afraid of this. I thought you only feared fear itself. <laughs> and I replaced it, so I will... He lied. I did lie. He lied. Yeah, that lie. means he shouldn't be able to draw right now. <laughs> Take it to judge. Oh, I do have to play. Yeah, it's so, play four, so you still have to play. Oh, sorry, I put in a new rule, play four, as opposed to play off. Um, still draw one. The play stars four. are wrong. Uh, All other players must discard one action or a random card from their hand. Um, I'll, I will. That not, one. not that one. All right. Huh? <laughs> Ready? I'm afraid of dying alone. I am. How are you going to? I'm doing this, aren't I? <laughs> and no one will discover the body for weeks. If. Because no one will care. I'm going to because no one play does care. care about this map. The reanimator? If I have this on the table, I can steal the body if it isn't play. Oh, the oh. body's over here. Oh, I got the body right here. And. Based on your fear, I, I assume you'll be the body. <laughs> I have the ghoul, and the special power of the ghoul is that if I have that on the table, I can discard the body during my turn if it's in front of me. What? Still no body. <laughs> well, but body. I can discard. steal the body and discard it if you want. And I will. I will. Well, I'm going to steal it at least. His body. <laughs> Was your body ready? <laughs> your body was ready. I just took your body without even asking. I am afraid of rent taking my body. <laughs> yep, guy, Agent does not know. You weren't even so gentle. Good. I'm going to play Bookham, which is the Necronomicon in the FBI agent. Qualification win. I'm going to play Trash something. I uh, take my choice of Keeper or Creeper from in front of any player and put it on the discard pile. You will have the Keepers or Creepers and nothing happens. I am going to get rid of my own nightmares. Good guy. Alright, if you weren't even gentle into this body. <sighs> Bitch, please, I take what I want! Oh, I am... Of <laughs> <laughs> That's not a fear. No, he only put one. Okay. Okay. He's having trouble coming up with a fear. <laughs> I should have thought of it until he came back down. All right. Exchange keeper. If any keeper another player has on the table and exchange it for one that you have on the table. If you have no keepers in play, or if no one else has a keeper, no. Okay. So. I can pick one, right? Yes. Actually, you have to. <clears throat> you exchange your keeper that's attached to the 
Yes. So you can get rid of your creeper. Yes. But I like a man professor. That may actually be a goal. We haven't yeah. played through the entire deck. Oh, it probably isn't. It's not like a goal. I like penguins. <laughs> Okay. Can you do your pick? That looks a bit really impressive. It's because they're right next to a tomb. Yeah. So mine. It, it would be you. <laughs> yeah, I can't do what I mean. <laughs> we know that. No Goal. No, no books for you. Player who is the librarian and the cultist. Good. It's a pretty lame game. Yeah, where's the draw? So far, so far, this has been a slow game, but we'll see how it goes. I mean, it's like draw tournaments. <laughs> yeah, I'm afraid right? of losing this game. Terrified. Hey. All right, so I've got the artist. Probably not <laughs> And I have to drop Shadow out of time. I take another, take an additional turn after this one. And the next creeper that appears is mine, even if it's someone else that pulls it. Actually, no, that's very specific. The next time an opponent pulls one. So if I pull it, it doesn't consume it. So we're actually going to leave this here as a reminder. So the that's next time it's pulled. Yeah, tapped. Alright, so. Right, so I take another turn. I'm afraid of getting a DUI. Oh. <laughs> Do you like watching Trent tap that? That's illegal in five states. And very legal in the rest. Oh no. Okay, so this is where I knew it was over. Nobody else can see it quite yet, but I just pulled two gold cards. So I've got no option but to play both of them. And one of them will make somebody win. Oh no. I have to play them. Oh snap. Oh snap! Oh snap! Oh snap! Alright, so the new goal is the shadow over instant. In which you must have either um, metamorphosis or the FBI agents with instant. And nobody has instant. No. The new goal is the Mountains of Madness. Anyone who has. The Shatha, the penguins, or the tomb, any two of them. That's a cat. That's a cat. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> you could fuse penguins with black pussy. I was looking at the And Bill out. wins our first game of Cthulhu Flux. Wow. That sometimes happens. I did everything I could not to drop his wing card. If I had all gold cards in my hand, it, well, it was play all. So. Congratulations to Bill on that one. Well, hopefully you enjoyed it. I know Zarthoon here did. We're going to come back next week and play another game of Cthulhu Flux to finish up our tasting. Hope you can join us one more time for our last game of Flux in the session. Cheers, Internet. As always, stay classy and drink responsibly. It's not like you know. <laughs> the camera loved me. I love the only one.